Okay, now we're going to start over the file, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our background. So I'm going to load a background. I'm going to go to that folder, my softball fields, and set it to that size. I like to have a big field to work with because it's easier for me to see what I'm working on. And now I'm going to go load a figure. So I'm going to put my softball player. And this is my pitcher. Let's say I want the pitcher here in the middle. Well, she's a little too big to fit in there. So come here and decrease their size so that they look about the right size to be standing on the mound. You can visually do it. You mathematically can do it. You just, however you wish, get them in there. Move them around a little bit. Think about how they would stand. Think about how they'd look in that very first scene. Now I would put all my other players. I would softball player, you know, first baseman, and so forth. And I'd make them smaller however big, they, whatever they need to be to get them fit in and put them on their different bases. Put all your players on there. Whatever characters you're going to have in that animation scene, insert them all. I'm not going to do them all because it would take a long time. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more. Because I need a batter here. Uh, and I want to flip. And I want to change that color of this one to, I don't know, red. Whatever color I wanted to do. So the black team is one team and so forth batter is going to stand differently, right? And maybe I'll pick a different color than that one so I can actually see. Let's try yellow. Because then I can see my joints where I want to move them. Okay, batter back here. Kind of stands back a little bit. See, I'm setting them up here. I'm moving the joints here. Like I want, she would need a baseball bat. How would I bring a baseball bat in? Well, you would make a GIF. You would make the little GIF like we did in the Photoshop and you can pull it in. I'm just going to go ahead and load a sprite. That's the GIF. And it's going to be the softball. Too big. Uh, let's decrease it to about 15. Yeah, or even maybe 10. And I'm going to move it to the hand of the pitcher. Now I want to do the next frame. So here's the pitcher's going to start. Next frame. Pitcher is going to move her arm. After I move that, i got to move the sprite. So the sprite's got to line up with it. Next frame. Move the arm a little bit more. Move the sprite, which is the ball, a little bit more. The orange is your move. The red is your, like, rotate, move it around next frame and I keep going keep adding the frames and I keep moving them and the more frames you have and the more subtle movements you have that's why it's called cell, on, cell animation the more realistic your animation is going to look now right now I'm up to like five notice if I wanted to add more players right now, I'd have to go back and add them on every single slide. That's why I say start at the beginning with what you're going to end up with. Come on. There we go. There it goes. Now, if I hit play, see how it's showing. I need to slow it down a little bit so it's a little more realistic. Still, I still need a lot more. I should actually have some more frames in between it to make it as smoother so it looks like realistic. It doesn't look... All right, now it looks really choppy, right? I'm going to say stop. And that's how you do. You continue going. You add the next frame, and you move your objects around. You move your players around to whatever they're doing. And next frame, and next frame, and next frame. And you resize them. You make them smaller. You move them around. You rotate them. You do whatever you need to do. If I'm going to make the player run, for example, on this, this one, I actually would move the foot a little bit. That foot a little bit. Next frame. And I should be moving the balls and doing this, but I'm just trying to give you an example. Think about how, well, obviously it wouldn't that way, but something like that. Next frame. Maybe this, this puts back here, here. Think about where you're going to put your arms and your, your character as you do your frames. You think about what you want to move when you're doing this. Think of this as like lay animation where you move every little part of it. This is cell animation. You're going cell by cell by cell. 
And when you push play, see how they're not the smoothest because I only did three frames, but it's there. And you just keep adding frames. Actually, I'm going to tell it to repeat off. Adding frames, and you keep going until you get it.